So for today's tutorial, this is the second time that I am recording it. Hopefully this time it works. What I'm going to do today is a look that I posted on a few of my social media platforms, which was a very bluish pink lip by Bite Beauty. The lipstick is called Kimchi. I'm also going to do that with a hopefully very black lash, but I do want to remain relatively neutral on the eyes. So uh, I will be showing the products as I sing and then afterwards I will also mention them by name and I have had a request so far to also list the products in the description box so I will be doing that. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. So that was Ben E. King's Stand By Me, just in the piano version, instrumental. And I will tell you that Stand By Me was my first and forever favorite movie. It was also the song, uh, the first dance at my wedding. So it does hold a special place in my heart. I hope you enjoyed that version today. It's just, it's such an amazing song. So what I've done so far is I've only been using my Rimmel powder in Transparent 001. I've used my Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek in Swish 
And I've also used a wow new favorite, the Sephora brand glow stick in the shade. Uh, let me look at the lid. Let me look at the lid. Moonlight Shimmer. So I picked this up at a recent store opening that I had the good fortune of attending. And I am so impressed with this product. The wet iridescent glow that it gives is just absolutely stunning in my opinion, if that's what you're looking for. I do have a lot of uh, powder highlighters, which I also love. But what I find is, unless you're looking at something like the Laura Mercier uh, matte, the baked illuminating powder, I think it's called, or matte radiance, that one has a nice glow to it as well without being shimmery or glimmery. But if you want just a beautiful, beautiful iridescent wet look on your cheek, I highly recommend this stick. So then what I did was I took a flat shader brush and I took that Rimmel powder on my lid. I'm just priming it actually because I'm going to put a lighter shade on there. And I'm going to be using a little bit from the ColourPop Fame palette today. I ordered this a long time ago. I'm going to be using the color Delirium, which is right here. And the reason I actually ordered it, this is very close to my skin tone, is because Emily Noel, on YouTube had said that some of the shades in here were a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury um, Extravagant. Uh, some people are going to be screaming at me right now because I can't remember the name of that quad, but one of the Charlotte Tilbury quads, um, one of the shades in here, Emily Noel, suggested was a dupe for that, so I purchased this palette and I do like it. I just use a few of the shades in it though. So what I'm doing is I'm just lightening up my lid a little bit and then I'm going to go into MAC Omega, which is a nice taupey um, color. And the reason I like this is because it's not too warm. A lot of browns are very warm on my skin tone. So I'm just going a tiny bit above my crease for some definition. I want to stay very light on the eyes because of the very, very bright statement lip that I will be doing later. And I wanted to give a few shout outs this week to some of my viewers and some of my students from school. So A M V M, J, B, so student names, I'm not really at liberty to say on camera, but I can give initials just so you know. Ladies, thanks so much for watching. Um, very happy to have you, have you as subscribers. And I also wanted to give a shout out. So I'm gonna go back into the Fame palette again. I'm going to be using the color Extravaganza, which is a pressed pigment right here. There is a channel that I watch called Just Nina. And I have to tell you, this lady, Nina, I hope you don't mind me calling you just this lady, but Nina is so intriguing to watch. So the camera did die as I anticipated it would. I'm gonna to try to speed this up a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my lash curler. I'm just gonna give my lashes a really good curl and then I'm going to, I've been enjoying the Benefit Roller Lash lately, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try the Milk um, Makeup Kush Mascara. I've heard a lot of people talk about this. I got this in a um, box, a mascara sampler set from Sephora. So because of the really bold statement lip I'm going for today, I do want to really, really go for a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of dark lashes. Although I never put mascara on the bottom because I get transfer no matter what. So I will not be putting mascara on the bottom. And uh, I know a lot of people do enjoy that. So yeah, so as I was saying about just Nina, check out her channel if you have a chance. She's very likable. And she uploads very frequently, much more so than I do. 
For those of you that aren't aware, my uploads are typically uh, Saturdays. So that's what I go for, unless I have camera issues. And then I usually have recorded something, but the footage was either corrupted or cut off or some other mishap has occurred and therefore I don't get to finish the video. And with the three kids, my three kids I'm talking about, I usually ask them to play in our basement while I record. And so when I do have some sort of error, I don't, I don't want to ask them to stay down there too long. So I'll usually just postpone the recording until the next day when that happens which is pretty much what happened with this, except for yesterday, which was Sunday here where I am, we had the opportunity to go up to Collingwood, Ontario and visit my sister and her kids. They have a condo up there. And so they were kind enough to invite us up for the day. So Saturday I recorded, it failed. Sunday, um, the family and I went up to Collingwood for a nice night away went to a couple bakeries, an apple orchard. We saw the salmon running in uh, Thornbury, which was amazing. So the eyes are not done. I am gonna apply one more coat of mascara after, but what I'm going to do is I also picked up at the uh, store opening that I talked about, the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk, which up until that point, I've been too frugal to purchase. So I'm just lining my lips because kimchi, the lipstick color by Bite Beauty, is very, very, very bright. And I want to make sure it stays on my lips and not wander all over my face. So this again is Pillow Talk. By Charlotte Tilbury so if you could see it's very close to my own natural color which is nice because if your lips are not perfectly symmetrical you can kind of pretend that they are or cheat which I would assume is why it's called a lip cheat so now this is the kimchi lipstick right here I'm gonna start in the middle As you can imagine, it's very easy to make a mistake with a lipstick color like this. And then what I'm going to do is after I get most of the color deposited in the middle, I'm going to drag it outwards with my finger because I don't want to risk messing up the corners, which I always do. And then what I'll do is, after I drag this out, like I said, you could also use a lip um, brush if you want. But I just like doing that because I don't necessarily want too much color right in the corner. But what I will do is go back in with the pillow talk. And I'm just cheating a bit in the corners. So I like how that looks. I'm just gonna fix right here. I just want those to look a little more even. And then what I'll typically do is I either use a Q-tip or I just use my knuckle. And I just drag the color right in the middle of my mouth because what tends to happen is that's where it gets on your teeth. Okay, so that's pretty much the look for today. But what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to go back in one more time with the mascara because I want my lashes to be a little more dramatic. And as I mentioned um, previously for my social media platforms, on Facebook and Instagram and possibly Twitter. I did use the Benefit Roller Lash, but I just wanted to try out this Kush mascara today. So hopefully you're getting a good look at what it can do. 
I would say I have average lashes. They're not short, they're not extremely long. And all I did beforehand was to give them a good curl with my Tarte Lash Curler. So not yesterday, was it yesterday? Um, all the days are coming together, but in any case, I mailed off the brush set, which was the prize for the winner, the Luxie eye brush set. Um, so that was mailed out, not yesterday, but the day before. So that was pretty exciting for me to mail out the prize for my first giveaway. I'd like to have more. I also possibly plan to do a few unboxings because the YouTuber that I mentioned, just Nina, mentioned that she loves unboxing, so maybe a few of those will be in my future. So I'm hoping that you can see that that extra coat really did make a difference. And what I like to do is rest the wand right at the root of my lash so that it almost gives that uh, waterline or tight line effect. And like I said, I want to stay really neutral with regards to the coloring on the eyes. So I'm just taking my big face brush and I'm taking that brush underneath just in case there's any harsh lines. And I'm going to be putting my bangs down. So I have a bit of mascara here, I just wanna get away. So now I'm just looking down because I'm trying to keep my uh, hair from getting in my, my lashes with that. And what I'm going to do is actually, I'll just take a tiny, tiny bit of that lipstick and I'm gonna dab it right in the center here, which looks absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna take my fingers quickly. I'm gonna to try to blend it out somewhat. And then I do have a beauty blender, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna pat, 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 pat. I don't have any foundation on. I don't have any base. Um, what I do have is my sunscreen. I've been using the Neutrogena water-based sunscreen with the hyaluronic acid in it lately. And that's all I have on the base right now. So I'll just pat my nose with my Rimmel powder because I do want my nose very matte today, as well as my chin. Bring that down a little bit. And I think if I were to do anything actually, because I said I was keeping the eyes very neutral, the only thing that I would do is, I have a little container here of some Stila, um, uh, the sparkle, the name's not on the bottom, but so I'm not sh quite sure what the actual product is called, but they're the glitter liquid. Yeah, and I think what I would do is I would go for, I have a golden one here. I'm just gonna show you the color in a sec, right here. I think I might put a little bit of that under the eye just to have a little pop of uh, something there. So it's not color. Well, by color, I mean it, it's not a shadow color. And I might take that right in. Just because I feel with this look that you almost need a, a little something down there. And then what I would do is typically, I would reach for a Q-tip, but I'm gonna take my pencil brush and just clean up a tiny bit under there. So there's nothing on this pencil brush because I've wiped it before I've used it. And I think that's good for now. Like I said, the sparkle at the end was a little bit of an added surprise for me as well. Aside from showing the lashes and the lipstick today, I didn't really have too much of a plan. So that's the look for today. Like I said, for me, the star of the show, aside from the lip, is that illuminator. I could even throw a little bit more on now if you just wanna see it in action one last time. But yeah, I think that product was $11 which in my opinion is a great price for 
an illuminator that's doing that. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'd love to give more shout outs next week. Hopefully you check out Nina's channel and hopefully Canadians, you're having a great Thanksgiving and to my other subscribers from around the world, thanks for watching and I hope you check in again next week. Have a great day. Bye.